Hi, this is Tim from Cairo Up, and I want to show you three simple nerve flossing exercises for upper extremity radiculopathies and neuropathies. Last month, the Spine Journal had an article showing that irritated cervical nerve roots were actually larger than their counterparts, and this was because of edema. And we know that that edema can trickle down into the peripheral nerves as well, distal to the site of irritation, and this leads to adhesions and fibrosis. And that's a problem because nerves need to move. They need to be able to stretch, they need to be able to glide in their canals, and when they're entrapped, they're vulnerable to the two things that nerves don't like, compression and stretch. So nerve flossing is a way to help restore normal neurodynamics. Now nerve flossing is different from a nerve tension. In one of our prior blogs we talked about how to tension a nerve. Think about the slump test that we're tensioning both ends. Versus a treatment that would be a nerve floss, we're going to tension one end at a time in hopes of moving that nerve back and forth through its channel, breaking up those adhesions. Now this is obviously specific to whichever nerve is irritated. So I'll show you the nerve flossing exercises for the median, the radial, and the ulnar nerve. And the good news is they're really simple. You can give these exercises at home or perform them in office. For the median nerve, the way that we're going to stretch one end, think carpal tunnel, we're going to stretch by moving the wrist into extension and we're going to take tension off of the other end by having the patient bend their head toward that side. Now to floss it, we're going to do just the opposite. We'll now take the tension off of the, the wrist side and put some tension on the cervical side. And we have that patient move back and forth through that movement into extension and laterally flexing their head as they come back into flexion and laterally flexing the other way. For the radial nerve, this is a very similar process, that the way that we're going to tension it, though, is move that patient into a butler tip position. And we're going to take the tension off by laterally flexing toward the same side. So now it's loose at the neck, it's tight at the wrist, and then we swap those in much the same movement, having them bring their hand up, and then coming back into that butler tip position while laterally flexing their head towards the side of involvement. And finally, for the ulnar nerve, we're going to have that patient make a circle with their hand and flip it upside down, and then take that out into a handshake, and bring it back up to their face, upside down, and into a handshake. So those are three movements that you can do in office or send the patient home with. The bottom of this blog also has videos of each of those home versions and the clinical version so that you can get a better grasp. You're also welcome to visit ChiroUp.com to see nerve flossing exercises for any neuropathy throughout the body or to review the best practice protocols for those conditions as well as 95 others.